Hi, my name is Andrew Gillespie. I'm the Chief Engineering Officer of Power for SEPTA. So we're staying at the uh, Wayne Junction substation. Uh, this is the Traction Power substation. It was built by the Reading Railroad in 1930. Uh, this substation has been continuous operation since its initial construction, and it is still the heart of SEPTA's northern regional rail system. Uh, all the power that we supply uh, to the railroad system goes through this substation. It affects uh, nearly 17,000 riders a day. What I'm standing in front of is a feeder breaker. Um, and as you can see, there's a whole line of breakers behind us. These breakers um, distribute power to all the different lines. It's a protection system so that if something should happen, a tree falls on a wire, um, a very small piece of the system may lose power temporarily until we can clear the tree uh, without affecting the entire system. Everything works in conjunction together to maintain the, the reliability. We, um, there's a, a bit of redundancy built into the substation, so if one unit is to open, there's the ability to transfer load to another circuit uh, to restore service. Our whole operating philosophy is to return service as quickly as possible uh, and then go back and make repairs and put things back to normal. Well, as the substation aged, the first problem we had is some of the manufacturers of this equipment went out of business. Additionally, the age of the system, they're mechanical devices, so they wear down after time. We have been very diligent about maintaining this equipment and I think we've done a pretty good job considering it's been 80 years and it's still in service. But eventually everything needs to be replaced. And some of these parts now, besides not being repairable, are, are just not fixable. Uh, they, they've worn to a part where, point where it's no longer feasible to repair the parts. Well, SEPTA just recently uh, was awarded a TIGGER grant for $12.8 million to help overhaul this substation. Uh, our intention is to take the substation as a whole and just overhaul it instead of rebuilding it and replacing it completely. So that grant will go a long way to help us repair all these breakers. Uh, we're going to restore these buildings. The steel work that you see will be uh, stripped and repainted. Certain parts of the system will be upgraded to modern standards. Uh, more uh, efficient, uh, better performing equipment will be installed, uh, bringing this up to modern standards and technology. We've already started design. Uh, it started about two months ago. We expect to be completed uh, in the winter of 2013. The project will then go out for bid by contractors. We anticipate being ready to start construction in uh, early fall of 2013. From there, the construction is expected to take about two years to complete. What we hope to achieve is, besides having a more efficient substation that would utilize state-of-the-art equipment, the reliability of our system is going to go up. The on-time performance for SEPTA should improve. Recently, we had a situation where there was a failure here at the substation that uh, actually wound up shutting out power to 80% of our northern system for over an hour affecting over 100 trains. Those type of interruptions should, should become a thing of the past. While I can't guarantee they will never happen again, uh, they'll be less and less, very infrequent.